All right, a day at the range. Why am I here on this steamy Tennessee morning? I'm here almost every steamy Tennessee morning lately. Um, NRA Small Bore Nationals are coming up next week. I'm going to be there, and I will do my very best to do a crappy job of reporting on it uh, with my usual unprofessionalness. Um, <laughs> but I'm there to have fun. You know, make no mistake, I'm not there to win anything. I'm there for fun. Uh, I'm there to represent Tennessee as best I can, even though I'm not from Tennessee, and that kind of angers people, but they'll live with it. Um, what am I doing here this morning? Well, I'm getting ready to confirm my 40 meter zero because one of the things I've been working with this week is changing everything from 40, oh, from 40, changing everything from meters to yards, yards to meters. And at the, our range here in Tennessee and Jackson, uh, everything has to be in yards because we just don't have the space to do meters. So uh, when I go out there, everything's going to be in meters. Got to make sure all my dial-ups are written down for meters and that type of thing so I'm not all over the place, get things prepared. Make sure my rifle works. Make sure the batch of ammo I have is zeroed. Uh, I got my scope, my rifle set up for that batch of ammo. I'm only going to take with me that batch of ammo. Um, Again, I'm not here to win anything, but I might as well do things the best I can. Now we've got my absolute favorite set of targets, which would be uh, a white piece of paper. I happen to have my own set of targets anyway, and a marker. But you can certainly do this with a stencil. You know, next time you go to a match, just uh, grab a stencil. Uh, I should say grab a tracing of a target. That we can make a stencil, you can make as many paper targets as you want. Practice on paper and you can't go wrong. A little sloppy because I'm doing it with one hand. Now, picking a spot on the target. This is basically my spot. That's where I'm going to be aiming for. When I look through the scope and the crosshairs, I'm going to wait until I get in there. And I'm getting into the practice of aiming here. Not aiming at the animal, aiming at a spot on the animal. Whether it's that spot, whether it's something that's already been fired and I'm trying to get just to the left hand side of this because I can see this nice through the scope so I'm going to wait till I'm just right in here you know I may even just take because I am going to practice on the steel animals later I may just take and put a mark right there and I'm going to aim for that mark right there 